Alright guys, so the new Hit and Kaba cards have come out. So, first off, shout out to uh, Zori for posting this up on the Reddit. I did wake up to the Twitter notifications, so, and I want to also shout out to Koala San Z. I also apologize because I've been calling you Kolasin. Um, really, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, Koala San Z, thank you for the translations. We're going to be using the translations over here that he uh, put up uh, to translate the cards while I have them on screen for you. So, I'm just going to take this and move it to a different screen. All right, cool. So first one is going to be the Kaba. Super Strength, Super Saiyan Kaba. He is the Super Strength Support Unit. Uh, unit. Uh, genuine Admiration. Leader skill is Super Strength Key plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 50% up. His passive skill is Strength Type Key plus 3. And Super Strength Type will get boosted an additional attack and defense plus 40% as standard. Super Attack is Gallic Gun. Supreme damage to the enemy. For 3 turns, he raises his own attack and defense by 30%. So that's pretty cool. He has a little bit stack of a buff right there. Um, Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Ace, the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, and Prepared for Battle. Overall, not a bad unit. Link skills are lacking, but that's just because of his passive skill. He does have Prepared for Battle, which is really cool. It's kind of a staple on any type of Saiyan team. So he will at least be giving the additional key. So it's not really f uh, three keys giving. He's technically giving a five key to the middle. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, overall, it's going to be difficult. We're, we're, I'm also going to be doing a team building at the end of this, towards the end of this, once I go over the cards. Um pretty unique unit um he's cool overall the good thing about him he's technically farmable um you go over here the saiyan from universe 6 kaba the technique kaba this one is actually farmable from the event dragon ball well dragon ball super universe 6 saga he actually drops from level 6 saiyan of universe 6 uh you're gonna need some of the medals let's see the um vados medals the match begins uh vegeta and champa so once you get enough of those medals and this guy over here, once you see these medals over here, 10 Vegeta, 8 Champa, 8 Vados, Yudokun Awakens into Pride Awakens Super Saiyan Kaba. Now, if you're going to go through all of that, I would kind of still recommend uh, Z Awakening him. Yes, it does cost a Supreme Kai for the 100% chance. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for you. So you guys on Global with me, uh, go ahead, start grinding this guy out, start grinding the medals for him when the event comes back around. So that way you're ready if you want to get him up Super Attack 10. Uh, that way he's just going to hit a lot harder. So this guy should be able to feed into his counterpart, which is right over here. Uh, that's awesome. Again, uh, the the super strength, uh, we're going to go over in a second, but it's pretty unique because they're they're GT oriented and they all have their own like, kind of niche of how, how everything's running right now. So it's going to be interesting to see how he fits in. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the hit real quick. Uh, extreme STR hit. It's kind of weird that they're making him extreming. I guess it's because he's an assassin. Uh, growth during combat is the title of the card. Leader skill, extreme strength, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. His passive skill is strength type, key plus 3. And extreme strength will get boosted by an additional attack and defense by 40%. Super attack is the Toki Tapashi. Um, supreme damage or rare chance to stun. Link skills are supreme warrior, experience fighters, cold judgment, infighter, warriors of universe 6, and shocking speed. Now overall, he has pretty bad link skills as well. Shocking speed will probably be a little bit more relevant. It's kind of like the prepared for battle with the Saiyans, so he'll be at least hitting that off with a couple of people. Overall, not a bad unit. It's cool that the hit has another card coming out. Um, good support unit for an extreme team, but the extreme STR is a little bit more complicated than the uh, super anyway. But let's go ahead and talk about that. Uh, let's jump over here. No, that's not what I want. Uh, first off, I did want to shout out again to the Reddit for team building guides that I'm using. That's how I'm utilizing the team builder when I go into it. So we, I, you went off of the team analysis, Super Janemba post, um, the Z tier list for Super STR, and the Z tier list for Mono STR in order to get that. Now, I also did list out all the units over here from dbz.space. So this is all of the extreme units. We might have to come back over here. I kept it open just so that way, you know, good reminder in case I forgot anything. Um, but let's go over here and talk about the team building guide. So this is for the Super STR. Now, overall, these are, I don't want to say every optimal unit or every really good unit, but these are some of the top tier units that you're going to want to run on that team. So overall, I think that it's going to be a little bit difficult to fit him in here. Now, obviously, you're going to want Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, just because, you know, you could uh, most people will put Super Gogeta right alongside the friend Super Saiyan 4 Goku when they're running them side by side. That's cool. You know, you, I definitely do that. Um, just because you're going to want Super Gogeta there, he hits really, really hard, and he does hit off a couple of the link skills with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the two, essentially the two attack buffs, which is really, really useful. Um, I guess you could also throw 
the the Gohan over there, that would be pretty uh, useful as well because he also shares the Kamehameha link. But overall, it's really up to you on who you want to run alongside of him. I just think Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 would be a little bit more optimal. Uh, Oh, overall, okay, so here we are. We have all of these different support units. Now, these two guys over here, the Trunks and the Bardock, both these guys have passive skills that allow for an increase of attack on your um, on your allies. Bardock, I believe, is 30%, and Trunks is 25%. So both of these guys are going to be pretty freaking useful, pretty freaking viable, um, assuming you're not running any of these other guys. So, I mean, right now you already have four units. Now you have the choice of three additional units. Um, if you're looking for straight support, you can technically, you know, you could just go and run the Trunks, the Bardock, and the new Kaba card. That will at least give you three support units on rotation and make all these guys just hit like a freaking Trunks. Um, that might be a little bit more viable for you. Um, remember that these two guys over here, they are hard hitters, but uh, the math hasn't been done at this point in time. But a 40% attack buff on rotation is definitely something you're going to want, even though the links, the links lack. Um, the one thing that kind of does suck also is that the Kaba doesn't have the Super Saiyan link. So you're, you're lacking that. But overall, I think it's a pretty, it, uh, compared to the extreme type, uh, this is a little bit easier to run. Uh, you can run any of these guys that you want. It'll, and let me know if I'm missing anyone in here. This is just who I think. I mean, I have all the cards over here. There's no LRs. So I'm pretty sure that these are all the really, really good units that you could possibly run. Yes, Beerus can be in there, but he's not really that optimal because of his lack of link skills um, with, the, with the rest of the team. But overall, um, I, I think that this is going to be good. I think that if you run the Trunks, the Bardock, and the uh, Kaba, you'll probably get a really good hit, hard-hitting units overall just because of the attack buffs that they do. Um, not might not be the best for your situation. Everyone's situation is different. So let's go over, over here. And now this is the Extreme STR. Now look how convoluted this is there because there's so many pairings. That's really what it comes down to, the amount of pairings that can happen um, on this team. Now, obviously, you're going to have the extreme Janemba over here, right? Now, Janemba links very well with Cell, but Janemba also links very well with Omega. But my personal opinion on the matter is, um, I don't know if the math has been done on this, couldn't find it, but I would prefer to have Omega off rotation with Janemba because Janemba is your tank. Omega debuffs the enemy's attack. So you would want a Janemba on one end, on one end of the rotation, so that way he could tank most of the hits if you know you get lucky enough for that to happen. Now Omega on the other because he will reduce the amount of that the damage done to you because of that reduction of attack. So I, th I think having them off rotation would be a good idea, though they do hit all five of each other's links, so keeping them together might also be a smart idea. Um, but I would probably end up keeping. Where are you stuck, Matt? Yeah, because they don't have, they don't share metamorphosis. So overall, I think it would probably be a better idea to keep them off rotation. And if you were going to be running Cell, you could keep Janemba and Cell together. But here's where the problem comes in, right? You have LR Freeze, which is a really good unit, and then you have Kuriza, who is the fusions. If you have him, he links very very well. He hits off almost every single one of them. You also have LR Broly with his Super Saiyan Broly form, and you also have another good unit, which is the base form Broly. All three of them are very well together, and these two specifically, LR Broly and the Super Saiyan Broly, link very well together. Uh, 17 is always good to have just because he's an orb changer and the orb changer you're going to want with the lrs because remember lrs can get up to 24 key you want to hit 18 key for like the most powerful attacks so having an orb changer there is going to come into play very well um not the hardest there in the game but he's semi farmable so you can get him up to super attack 10 uh, a little bit quicker than you can most of these other units now kid boo is cool because he does uh, disable guard he has big bad bosses he has a couple good link skills that go along well um, same thing with Rildo. Rildo has a couple good link skills with uh, with these units. Uh, he has Nightmare, Metamorphosis, which is really good for Janemba, so that way you get that HP recovery. He's not an optimal unit by any means. These these three are not optimal units, but they're very good for supporting your team. So how are you going to make that decision? Well, it really does come down to what units do you have. Um, overall, uh, it's it's going to be a very difficult decision, especially if you do have all of them. So in my boat, my personal, personal boat, um, I have every single one of these units on my global side, um, except for, I think, the Boo and the Janemba, because Janemba hasn't come out yet. But I have essentially all of these, um, and a second dupe of Broly. But what I would probably end up doing is, I would def obviously, you'd have to run Janemba. Um, I would probably run Cell, just because um, Cell's a really good unit. I would want to run Broly, and I would want to run Omega. I would probably take off LR Frieza and Kuriza. Uh, just my opinion on the matter, I don't know if you would... Uh, you're, again, your situation might be different than mine, so but I'm gonna go and take them, both of them off, just so that way I can clear off a little bit of the clutter over here. Um, so the, who does that leave us with? And then I'm gonna take off that Broly as well, the uh, base form Broly. 
just because I don't need him on the team as well. I also don't own him. Uh, so overall, this is who, who I'm looking at right now. Uh, so I would probably, at this point, end up keeping these two paired together, obviously, because they're going to be linking very, very well together. Um, maybe take Omega off rotation, put him in with with uh, Janemba, just because he's gonna, you don't want to have him on rotation. Cell does hit really hard, though, as well, so it becomes a more difficult decision. Um, so this is going to be, um, I guess, not an ideal rotation, but someone who you can choose. At that point, you would want to replace one of these. I wouldn't replace Cell just because he's still a really good unit. He still hits hard. Um, I would probably get rid of Rildo and uh, the, the Fancy Dance and Boo and just keep these, these guys together. You also have to remember that you also have another Janemba coming out, so you're going to probably have one Janemba on rotation. Um, so I would probably, you, between these two, I uh, might get rid of Super 17 or uh, Android 17 to throw that hit in there. Um, that might be a little bit more of an ideal situation for you. I hate the fact that you have to keep a 120 lead on rotation, but the LR Broly does hit very, very hard, and he needs his linking buddy because it, look how freaking awesome these links are. Um, now, if you don't have it and you only have one LR Broly, situation might change a little bit. Um, you might want to go with the cell on par with your friend Janemba, uh, keep an LR Broly on the side, uh, possibly. The thing is, he's only going to have six key and he doesn't have a lot of good linking buddies over here. At that point, you might want to consider trading out your LR Broly for the LR Frieza. Uh, it really depends on your situation. Again, there's a lot of different variables that come into here because the, the extreme STR team is very versatile, but you have to have the proper uh, linking buddies with them especially when it comes to those LR units. But overall, I think that the key plus three for this team specifically is going to come in very, very handy, uh, especially when you're running one of the LRs or if you're running both of those LRs because that key plus three is definitely going to come in better. Now, we still have to talk about the mono STR team. Now, all of the units that were mentioned are all very, very viable. I'm trying to trim it down as much as I possibly can so that way I can talk to you about which units that you can run. Um, now, this is going to be a lot more difficult because both of these units are very viable. They give key to everyone, um, but they don't really have the proper links. So, would you consider it ideal to run the 40% leads because it's only going to affect certain types? Now, overall, you pro you're definitely going to want to run these two, the Bardock and the Trunks, again, just because they do have the ideal links over here for... Um, uh, which I'm gonna call it uh, for the attack buffs. But you remember, you're also running a double LR Broly team. So if you're running a double LR Broly team, you're gonna have to have another LR Broly over here. So we want, we're gonna do let's go over and find the base form Broly. So that way we can just put him in place of the Broly that would technically be on the team with you. Um, so overall, you have very very limited you know, units that you can run. So this Broly over here, we're just gonna pretend he is another LR Broly. Um, so you're going to want the Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku because they pair very well. You're going to have the LR Broly with his best buddy, the other Broly. Then you're going to have this Broly who's going to be on rotation. Now this Broly, obviously, you're going to want to get him paired up with these guys whenever you possibly can, obviously. That means the Super Saiyan Broly is going to be paired in the middle. And then you have all of these other units. Well, you can technically run the Super, the Kaba, or the Hit if you want. But that's going to essentially eliminate all of these units. Um... The problem with that is, while it's giving key plus three, which is going to be very useful for the LR Broly, because he's always, almost always going to have key, um, except for when the other Broly is there, there's not going to be any real key buffs to him, uh, but you're going to have a double LR Broly hitting really freaking well, I think, how much, I don't know how many key links these guys actually share together, let's see over here, uh, there we go, so one, two, three, they only share three, so they're going to be getting nine, so at least they're both going to be getting double attacks off most of the time, um, but overall it's going to be very difficult because that means you're going to have to sub out Super Gogeta. Super Gogeta is very viable, very good. Omega Shenron's also very good because Omega Shenron can debuff attack. Janemba, I like him. He's a very good unit and I hate to say this about a 120 lead because he de he defends very, very well and he, uh, he uh, tanks hits all the time, but you're probably not going to want to run him on the team so we could take him, put him out. Um, Omega Shenron's another situation like that where he's very good, but you're probably going to end up having to take him out. It's really going to go to the Super Saiyan, guys. It's really what it's going to have to go get come down to. Um, now, but we still have a choice for two more for two slots, and we still have three that are over here. Um, so these two guys again attack buffs, right? You're most likely want to keep Gogeta on, so we're probably have to keep Gogeta on. Um, so that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, and we only have room for one more slot. Who are you guys going to honestly run? Personally, I don't think that either of the two new cards are going to come really into play 
here at all, and I think you should still go with that Bardock because he gives the better attack buff overall to all strength units. Um, he, even though it's not a 40%, it's a 30%, so that's something to definitely take into consideration. We're going to bring up his card stats real quick as well. Um, actually, I should have them available over here thanks to dbz.space. Uh, this is for the global side, so that's not a good thing. There we go. All right, so we want the Super super Bardock. So where, there he is. So yeah, um, the Super Bardock is going to be a little bit more viable overall just because of his uh, passive skill over here. So I'll translate you to English and page translate it. Um, so attack plus 30% for all friends with HP is 30% or more. Uh, I think that's going to be a little bit more viable on this team for a mono STR. Uh, that's just my recommendation. I don't know who you guys are going to want to run overall, but it, and obviously, again, guys, this is for an ideal situation. I'm not saying everyone's going to have the ideal situation. All these units are very viable. Even if you don't have all of these units and you have other units, they're still very viable. I'm just trying to give you guys the best type of situation um, to go over. These guys are not to be taken lightly. On a mono STR team, I don't see them being as as viable uh, the only time i will say that they're going to be very viable is assuming you guys don't have one of the 120 leaders or one of the extreme leaders and then you end up pulling one of these guys off of the banner um then at that point uh, you can probably start to focus on making a mono team like personally like a mono extreme team with an lr broly lead might be a little bit more viable for you because then you can run that hit on the team give everyone the attack buffs that you need let's go over here we'll take a look we're assuming you're not going to have the janemba so janemba is going to get taken out of there you're going to have that broly uh, as your leader depending on who you have if you're lucky enough to have a secondary broly that would be cool and then you would have to go and figure out who you're going to want to run alongside of like maybe cell and omega together and then you would have enough room so you would let's just use rildo you know what, let's just use janemba as the other lr broly just because uh, and then you have room for two more units at that point probably take out sexy boo and you could keep in android 17 and you could throw in i don't know uh the, the new hit uh because you're still going to want to lack you're still going to lack that um enough for the lr frieza or you could take out cell and android 17 and then you could throw in the lr frieza with his counterpart depending on how hard they hit super attack levels and all that take into consideration but overall guys it's very versatile we have a lot of units to choose from at this point in time i know this is a very long video but i want to give you guys all of the options so overall the two units that came out are very good kaba like i said before it's kind of hard because he's going into a niche team that everyone links very well together uh that attack plus 40 percent is very viable though so especially with the defense um, i know i didn't really touch upon the defense this is more of attack oriented video um, but with that def defense spike especially especially with the extreme team um, the defense spike is definitely going to come into play. But overall, Kaba, you have an easier choice. You're just going to replace one of the current buffs, uh, which is cool. It's awesome. Uh, and the hit is a little bit more harder. It really depends on the type of team that you're running and who you want to actually keep together and who you want to keep on your team. But overall, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was informative. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.